Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy Readings. I go by the name of Sylvie here with y'all, uh, when I'm here with y'all reading energy. And I'm going to get right into a reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini, but really all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it. This includes cross watchers. Um, so that being said, I've already done a pre-shuffle of the three decks, meditated on the energy, and just uh, overall, just jet basic energy read for Gemini. We have the Magician, Two of Cups, and the Five of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords, the Devil, and the King of Cups. Note the Knight of Cups behind there. We also have the King of Cups here with the Tower, and whoops, the King of Swords over here. So really kooky energy, in my opinion. I'm getting you know that there's multiple people here and um, you might also have to be making some type of decision between two different options and so this is you kind of making that decision making this big change uh, but let's see what spirit has to say here I'm gonna start off with Ooh, I didn't even know this card. Wow, that's interesting. So the Page of Wands somehow is underneath here. Very interesting. So I'm going to leave that out because I think that's pretty significant. <laughs> that can just be that overall energy with the Magician there, Judgment. Yeah, well, I said there was some type of option, maybe some type of... Um, I'm hearing contract energy, um, so maybe there's just some type of offer. Maybe there's two offers. Wow, so Seven of Pentacles came flipping out beautiful it's definitely has something to do with your uh, money your wealth how you make your money um, this could also be uh, creative you could be literally a farmer as well here very interesting this jacket that they're wearing with this hat kind of interesting I don't know Knight of Wands came out uh, Six of Swords also came out as well, and we have the High Priestess again at the bottom of the deck with that Four of Swords and Four of Cups. Interesting, 44. <clears throat> I'm not going to take this. Spirit wants it to come out. It will. What about this? So I was going to say more about the Page of Wands, or technically I guess this is the Knight of Wands here, and uh, the Ten of Wands flew out on the floor. So and this would make sense with the Judgment card here. There's some type of opportunity that's allowing, yeah, we have the World card at the bottom of the deck. It's allowing for some type of transformation, some type of new cycle to begin, uh, a new chapter in your life here, something that you've been, you know, you've been manifesting this. This is your energy here, air energy, we have water energy, fire energy, more fire, a lot of fire energy here. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with all these uh, wands and a little bit of earth energy. Too many cards, but the fool showing its face. More about this page of wands, some type of new uh, message or opportunity here. Smile the Emperor. This is a major, there's some type of major level up here. <laughs> more about this em more about this Emperor card, more about this way too many cards. Thank you Spirit. More about this Emperor card, thank you, we appreciate you so much. So we have the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. It's a really powerful energy here. I'm not quite sure if this is... I almost feel like this is you moving in silence here, holding your own in some type of... Um, You know, there might be with this, it's like maybe you say you worked at a company for a really long time and there's a higher position or something and there's a lot of, it's a highly competitive job or maybe it's just, not so much that it's highly competitive, but there are other people who want it and 
this could be like, and I'm not saying that this is what's happening here, but it's that type of energy where there is some type of, almost like a standoff, right? You have to hold your ground here. You have to have, bound. there's heavy boundary energy here. I'm almost getting, it's like, I came too far to put up with any, you're not putting up with any bullshit. You're not putting up with anybody trying to mess with you, basically, here. I feel like, whatever this opportunity is. And it'll get clearer as we go on. More about this judgment card. More about this judgment card. Fire energy. This is a rebirth. This is Phoenix rising from the ashes. This is some type of um, offer or contract or um, new beginning. Here with the Ace of Wands. Beautiful. This is amazing. Just more fire energy. Again, I think it really fits here. It's like action, determination, right? It's all here. Action, determination. Uh, really de fiery, passionate. And even though this, uh, with the Magician here, this is air energy. Still with this heavy, bright sun behind, radiating. It's really fitting in with this fire energy. And this has been so heavy for you lately, Gemini. And I think... It's just now that the planets are starting to like, I feel like everything started kind of like, we'll be leveling out soon a little bit. I think there's going to be more, things are going to be more moving. You know, planets are coming out of retrograde, right? So lovers at the bottom of the deck, just more of your energy, air energy, beautiful. There could be a partnership involved here. This could also just be you feeling like things are finally like coming into uh, alignment, into balance. We did have the Wheel of Fortune, so it's like, with the world card here, it's like things really like coming, uh, turning in your favor where you feel like really everything's, you're happy financially, emotionally, spiritually, it's just all working out. And again, with that world card and the judgment here, it's like the, the universe, it's just like er everything is in balance here with all the elements and it's like you can you'll have this new beginning. Uh, King of Wands here again, just more determined, fiery, passionate energy. This is a very creative energy, too, so more about the Seven of Pentacles, more about the Seven of Pentacles. I think this is either somebody recognizing your worth, your talents, your skills, how much you've accomplished, or it's just you taking stock and realizing. So Hermit card, Three Swords at the bottom of the deck, more about this energy with the Hermit card. More about this energy. I don't know if that's you or somebody else. Yeah. I almost feel like this is somebody else coming in here and noticing your worth. So we have the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I almost feel like maybe you were like down and out on your luck here. Um, so this emperor could actually be somebody else coming in with this emperor or hermit energy here. Um, you know, this is fire energy here, but I really like a lot of times think of the emperor especially like the way it's depicted as like this earth energy really heavy grounded uh very material uh and ener wealth energy right this is royalty here and with the hermit card i think it makes sense because this is earth energy too and it's about um with this seven of pentacles here and that six of pentacles this is about material wealth for sure, but there's also this uh, this energy of um, leveling up. There's a maturity here. There's um, you know some sort of glow up, if you will. Again, this came out for you the other day. This is a glow up. Look at this. It's like this sword. It could also be some type of aha moment. You had to go within, gain knowledge about how to take your business to the next level. I mean, that could very well be it here. Or again, just like I was saying, this is somebody maybe a little, maybe a little older, a little wiser, also has the financial backing here to come in and uh, finally get you out of this position where you're like scratching and scraping and, and fighting people off and, you know, this long, you know, journey here to get to this, this successful position. Queen of Cups. Well, I don't know why you came out, Queen of Cups, because I didn't ask for anything, but I was shuffling. And it's interesting because we have the King of Cups here, so that is a match. This is more of that creative, emotional, dreamy, passionate energy here. Somebody who's really feeling, again, that spiritual and emotional growth and wealth, you know? Wow. 
too many cards, but we have the lovers in the world, and I'm going to take it because they did show their face before, right? So I feel like it's only right. I think this makes sense for kind of like almost like an outcome here. Thank you, Spirit. This is a position of really... Uh, this keeps coming out and I love this. This is about traveling, having um, just a lot of free time, maybe going out and meeting up with friends, maybe being able to just go out on dates and like do things with people and not have to like feel so like worried about money, worried about how you're gonna make that happen because you have the money to do that now. But I also feel like a lot of it here is, <clears throat> there is the money aspect for sure, but it's also here I feel like about the emotional um, fulfillment that you're getting with this. It's like you really feel like now you're in your element. You, you're doing what you love. This is a new chapter in your life. You're doing what you love. You're, um, I do feel like it's some type of creative energy. So whatever you do creatively, right? I feel like king and queen energy but I almost feel like it's like there could be like maybe you're again you know if you're trying to do a business or something or or investing or something there could be just like multiple people involved right more about the final outcome here with this lovers card more about the final outcome with the lovers more about the final outcome here lovers card thank you spirit almost I think that nine of swords wanted to come out but I almost feel like, again, it's like, with that showing its face a little bit, it's like, that's just saying, Spirit is saying you're going to be able to get out of that energy. I don't think it's going to continue because this is just too amazing here, right? And then, of course, the Ace of Pentacles comes out. So, yeah, it's like, it's almost, again, it's like sort of like that rags to riches energy, but I don't think it's like as, like, maybe like, I don't think you're like, although the Five of Pentacles did show its face, right? So I think there is, like, there was this... It was like, oh, this has been a long journey. It's There's been a lot of hard work here. Um, Eight of Wands, the Hangman, and the Two of Swords, again, I think that just what I just said, it's like you've been waiting finally, I think, for this opportunity to come in where it's going to finally, you've been waiting a long time for this opportunity to come in where it's finally going to like take you to that, the Ace of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Pentacles, the way it is, you know, look at this, this is like years and years of hard work. So... There's a lot of cycles here with this, and then this is a new one. This is a new beginning, you know, with this Ace of Wands and this World card and the Ace of Pentacles. So we have two Aces here. This is amazing energy. I do feel like this is more business related, but can you clarify that Queen of Cups energy? Sorry, the lighting. It's just clarify the Queen of Cups energy. And I'm probably going to end it here, maybe just like one more, but I think that's it. I think this is just amazing energy. I think you're really, there's something, way too many cards. I think there's something really big happening here, uh, coming in, some type of opportunity. I do feel like there's somebody coming in with an opportunity, for sure. With this Emperor and the Hermit energy, and then even that Queen of Cups. So let's just clarify the Queen of Cups. That could just be your position, Three of Wands. Yeah, I think this is just allowing, I think there is some type of, it could be like three people maybe, like a small business um, where Queen of Wands, yeah, I do believe this is some type of opportunity where you're going to be working with other people because now we have two, I feel like we have the King and Queen of uh, Cups and the King and Queen of Wands here. I don't get any sort of negative energy other than right here and I don't and that's like more like in the beginning so I feel like you're moving away from something and moving into this maybe this person here with this emperor or whatever and this hermit is just allowing you to have this freedom now to um, get out of this struggle and you have this freedom now to really partner up with some better people to be able to do whatever you want to do. Um, yeah, there's the death card at the bottom of the deck with the queen of pentacles and another world card. Yeah, it's a new cycle. There's a radical transformation here. Something's happening, you know, with this energy here that's going to make it. Yeah, we have the justice card, two of pentacles, and another lover's card. 
Even with the Lover's card, I do feel like this is like a new beginning, so it makes sense that the Ace of Pentacles came out for it, because I do get this new beginning card here. And again, there's that balanced energy. Look, we have the scales here. Balanced energy. This was very heavy for you in the last reading, so I think that there's something that's important for you in some way that there has to be some there has to be this balance so it could be your works at you know your work life and maybe your family life or home life whatever that means you know or romantic life whatever it has to be in balance otherwise it's just not gonna work for you so maybe you were working for a company that didn't give you the time off that you needed right this is this is having time to do things here so this is like a new beginning now where you have a new uh, a new position where you can uh, have that freedom now to be with friends, be with family, travel, take time off, whatever that means for you, however you want to spend it, right? Yeah, this is really cool energy. I really like this. I think this is a, a really great new opportunity here. This is a new chapter for you. It's pretty major with all this major arcana here coming out there could even be some type of judgment in your favor um, especially with judgment and justice coming out here with the queen of pentacles and all this like ace of pentacles and the six of pentacles this is a lot of, and the emperor is a lot of money energy here as well a lot of like freedom um yeah, so this is really cool. All right, I'm going to leave it here. I just want to say thank you all so, so much for all your prayers. Um, I feel like he is getting a little bit better. I think things are, he's also adjusting better with the cone, and he's being such a trooper, and oh, he's such, I love him so much. So I just want to say thank you all so much who have been saying prayers and sending well wishes, because I, you know, it's working. Universe is listening, so thank you so much. Um, yeah, so thank you all for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, all of it as well. I appreciate you. And if you uh, haven't already subscribed and you want to, you can join. If not, no worries. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye!